Hey everybody, welcome back to the dark place. Last time we uh last time we unlocked a lot of arts and crafts and teachers, we got some new skills, and I realized I may have may have misspent my missions. Or not my missions. Slightly. My money. <laughs> yes. You e <laughs> you ever so slightly blew your fortune. Yes. So once again we have a lot of missions, none of them giving deeds. This is harrowing, quite frankly. Now I'm showing off here that you can indeed uh, switch up your skill set. Might be necessary depending on what you want to do with your characters. Mm -hmm. I like having them in a general build, but if I have the money, I also like to give them a chance at being another goofy build, mainly Vestals. I also realized kind of want to show off the Jester here. Oh yeah. So I'm bringing in Selnar again because he hasn't been beaten up enough. And we are going with my personal favorite build of a uh, highwayman ever. Yes. Like, I understand highwaymen supposed to be the man in the back, stabbing, rely on crits, but when I could just do 150 damage at any point with no penalty... <laughs> like, there are three skills that do 150% base damage. That is the only one with no penalty. Now we are hmm. going to the sunny, what do you call it, the wheel or the well? I, de I never know how to pronounce this. It is pronounced wheeled. Yeah, the sunny, nice wheel. Here's great this kind of time of year. Should get another torch. Just round it out to an even eight. I really should. I think I don't even realize it. <laughs> <laughs> now for the wield, much like, um, for the wield I like to A, bring a key because I like to gamble, and B, I bring two anti-venoms and two bandages. The bandages are purely meant for um, getting treasure. Mm -hmm. The anti-venoms are meant for both treasure and the off chance that something went wrong. Also, this is a mission that goes south fast. Huh. I was also kind of panicking here because Dismiss was like, is that coin? <laughs> And whenever anybody says that, that's like a, that's kind of a sign that they're a kleptomaniac. Hello! Yeah. Alright. I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Now here's the reason why the Jester is pretty damn powerful. He has a buff that buffs evasion, speed, and critical hits. And these can stack three times, so... If you get people up and running, they'll have a lot of evasion, a lot of speed, and a fair amount of crit rate. So, with the dodgy initiative system, you could just say, screw you, I have 12 speed now, go away. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of surprised how weak that point blank shot was. Yeah, point blank shots are uh, unusually ineffective in this fight. I, th Looking at that, I could have done um, Duelist Advance, because that does more damage than the pistol shot. And, and it would have gotten you in range for another point blank shot. Yeah. I guess that was... that was probably a pilot error. I mean, you're... you're not exactly in danger over a mistake here, so... Yeah, it's the, it's the first fight, I don't have to worry. Yeah. Now there is... this fight in particular has a circumstance that made me laugh when I was actually recording it. I'm just trying to... I'm gauging my circumstances right here, because once you get your team up and running... You could turn your bard into an off attacker. Continue the onslaught. I think right about Destroy here. Them oh yeah, I forgot Duelist Advance also, also activates Repost. This was made once the game was released. Duelist Advance never had Repost until released, and the moment it did, yeah. there were so many gimmick builds that relied on <laughs> this. Prodigious nice. <laughs> this way, the Good. Blade. This poor fat guy is just like, I'm gonna whip him, and then he gets smacked in the head and stabbed in the chest. Poor bastard. Now I'm gonna... I am hard pressed to say which is the worst place because I'm torn between the Weld and the Cove. Because I believe it's either this fight or the next fight that is just... a pain. It's this fight. Oh. Uh, All of these yeah. enemies have protection. Yeah. Now, 
for viewers at home that are new to this game, you probably don't see the error here, but expert are, experts are probably realizing I don't have a means to reduce protection in this team. You also don't really have a great team for hitting the back row. Hmm, yeah, kinda. I don't really need it though because, um, despite the issues I have with this particular mission, I never have any problems with the back row. Hmm. Look at that, a critical hit for three damage. Wonderful. Now this is another circumstance where having Mark on your uh, riposte guys is pretty useful. Yep. But this is also gonna, this also results in wear down. Because um, at this point in the game, I don't have the means to make my Vestal a good healer. Like a good healer to where she could solo heal the entire party. Mm -hmm. And Selnar is gonna suffer. Sorry, buddy. That seems to be Selnar's lot in life no <laughs> in this universe. Well, he gets he gives retribution, but he has to take damage to give it. Mm. No. <laughs> Repost is wonderful for getting the back row, but it comes at a cost. Yep. It also doesn't help that um. When you have Repust active, you're doing 40% less damage, typically. But since you're doing it off action, that's just a positive, no matter what. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not really losing out on anything. Now, the fact that I'm relying on Repust means there's going to be... <laughs> We're going to have Dismas and Selnar get worn down really quickly. Because I believe these big guys, the the mushroom golems, they actually do more damage if a target is marked. Yes, and I believe when when they first introduced that rend the marked attack, uh, it did absolutely ridiculous amounts of damage hmm. to the point where this fight was one of the hardest things in the entire game. I don't think I played during that uh, reveal because I remember. During early access development, I hit burnout during development, so mm -hmm. yeah, I might have missed that circumstance. Oh, count yourself lucky on that one. Uh, you didn't have to deal with the 80 per eighty percent protection maggots. Malformed with misintent. That is true. I did not. <laughs> that was the funniest fight to me, but it was also like, oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, for this curio, the eerie spider spider webs. I don't know the logic for this, but putting band aids on your hands prevents you from getting hurt. Ooh. Yeah, you uh, it prevents the spiders from biting you. Uh, now here is I guess here is a pain and a half. Oh, that's a lot of stress damage. Yeah, P's gonna be doing some work. I'm actually debating who to attack here, because I can't kill any of them. Right. But I figure might as well weaken them and hope they... Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that... Your, your Jester does not have any, any way to move forward, does he? I don't play Jester like that. I do not like the Shuffle Jester at all. I prefer the really? Support Jester. Mainly because um, I find... Uh, finale to be complete garbage. Finale could use a buff, yes. I agree. Yeah, because it's very unnecessary for a guy with a low damage range, even though he has a 150% damage buff, to not only lose damage overall, lose evasion overall, and also fucking... It just debuffs so much that I can't find any merit in using Finale. Especially when um, Dismas here also has a 150% damage attack with no penalties. A singular strike. It just feels really, uh, it feels poorly designed to me, honestly. Like, the Jester and me have a history of me saying throughout all of Early Access developments, I kept saying the Jester was garbage, I don't see a point to using it, it's not good. And then I think, like, the a month or two before release, they made his songs operate on row three alongside row four. Then I was like, okay, he's useful. Because before, you would have to choose between either offense period or support period. 
because the songs would only work in row four. And that oh, right, was yeah. stupid, honestly. Especially when row four could be used for a better slot. Yeah, like an arbalist. Mm -hmm. Here though, it's fine. Like I could get my do I could get him to buff everybody to ridiculous speeds and evasion. And when he's done with that, he can, you know, get a slice of people's arms. It's fine. He's useful now. I always felt like, um, you, like, if you went support, uh, I keep, I keep wanting to say support Joker, support Jester, it was a waste. And I kept thinking offensive Jester was not worth it at all because of how pitiful its damage output was. But now he has a good middle ground. I don't know, the, 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 the Jesters to me always felt like a class without a uh, real good place in the game, I guess. Uh, like, 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 there's always classes that deal more damage over time, they heal more stress damage or whatever, you know, it's... I don't think there was anybody else that heals better stress damage. I know the Houndmaster... Uh, Hound yeah, but the Houndmaster's a bit of a gamble. It's a 65% chance, and it's not, right. and it's only like a single digit below 5 for a f 5 stress. While the Jester heals 10 to any one target, and I feel that's that's the reason I w why I would want to use a Jester. Mm -hmm. But the whole of early access development, he was just so poorly designed. Yeah. But now he's better, so I'm fine with that. And I'm in a circumstance where I can't hit this stupid cultist. Yep. <laughs> yeah, for a short mission, this was the roughest thing I ever fought. Wait, you... Can't, can't, can't you hit that cultist with uh, the vessel's judgment? No, judgment is rank three or four. Well, I mean, your festival was in rank uh, four, so I was thinking. No, she got pulled. She got healing. pulled. She got pulled to rank two before uh, her turn. Oh, okay. Never you mind then. Yes, very unfortunate. I was looking at that. I was like, oh, come on, Vestal, come on, Vestal, let's finish <laughs> this. Pull, fuck. Yeah. Uh, hunger. Yep. Now I look at the circumstance and I realize there can't be any possible way they give me more hunger, so I try to heal Selnar. That is a bad move. Yeah. I finally get my deeds, at least, and I'm torn. Uh. There is one reason to use holy water in the wall in the wield. Wield, yes. But I rarely, if ever, run into it, so I never f think it's a good enough reason to bring a holy water. Well, I mean, you ran into that uh, cultist artifact earlier. You used holy water, but really? Hmm. Yeah. Mind that such so, funny story. I got a tablet recently, and, and the most recent tab in the browser for that thing is the um, is the fucking listings of all the curios because I use that while I record. So let's see if it's true. The darkness holds much worse than mere In the meantime, while this loads, it's black as pitch, but that just means more money. Right. Ah, uh, this stupid thing isn't loading it. Fuck it. I'll check yeah. it later. <laughs> it's a shame, too. I was like, yes, I have LP commentary items. No, oh, it's not working. Cruel I'm, I'm honestly to life forgetting what the purpose. other... Curio item in the wield that uses holy water is. It's like, the, I don't remember that at all. It's the um, skull fetish. It's a cow skull on a uh, dream catcher. Oh! I didn't know you could use holy water on that. I believe oh. you can, but I think it's a negative effect? Or I might be mixing it up with something else. Hmm. But yeah, since it's black as pitch, we could get a lot more uh, rewards from stuff, but it also means. Uh, we get more stress damage passively, and now Selnar oh, is even slower. Even less speed, perfect. In turn one, he has negative two speed. I've never had uh. this happen before. <laughs> the match is struck. 
A blazing star is born. Hello, friends. Wow, you're fast. Oh, wait a minute. No, my team's slow. Actually, no, right. that was the past team. Well, I mean, everyone's pretty much slow compared to the uh, musket guy. Yeah. The uh, Fusilier, because someone in the thread had to co correct me, Yes. has one of the highest speeds. <laughs> That's a good point blank shot. That's a really good point blank shot. Oh, nice. Point blank shot can move him back one to two spaces. I typically only ever see one. I think it's because he's fat is that they made it a uh, two spacer for that. Yeah. Now here's a uh, turn that's gonna bug me. Well, once he actually gets his turn up. This guy could use blanket fire from row two. I thought that was not the case. I thought he should only be able to use escape fire from there, but I guess not. Hmm. I, I think you're maybe thinking of the uh, the bone arbalist. Maybe. Because I know in in rank one or two they only have like rush shot or something like that. Yeah, that might be the case. I could swear that a. Uh, I know the the uh, fucking rifleman has a rush shot at early ranks, but I guess they must have removed it from rank two. Also, yeah, it's probably just a rank one thing. Also, that blood knife did a lot more damage than I expected. <laughs> no, P. <laughs> yes. Go ahead and hit the one person who doesn't have her post on. <laughs> I guess people don't like music. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's what you want to do. <laughs> I was like, I want to do damage. Wait a minute, she's at 50 stress. No, that's a bad idea. So is that, because, wow, level 1 uh, comfort is not great. No, it's not. I don't know why you did that. <laughs> the ground In my personal file, I have her loaded up with massive heal buffs. Mm -hmm. And I'm still kind of in that mindset. Oh, okay. Though I did have one extra food and I didn't realize it until after recording, um... Shadonkel has Stress Faster. Oh! Now here's... the worst enemy ever! I hate them! So I much! Kinda, I, I kinda like this fight, this, these, uh, this fight, this, uh, these enemies. It's, it's an interesting challenge. I have a history! Oh, Cytokinesis, good. Right I have a history of 15 turn plus battles. Oh my god. And this fight proves why I hate these fucks. Because <laughs> Cytokinesis is not the bad one. Like, I used to think once upon a time, you know, slime enemies are not bad. This game made me respect the slime. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, this fight's in the bag. Let me get some. Let me sandbag a little bit. Get some stress heal going. It's mm. fine. He'll attack. I'll repost. It's over. Like right here, I could have ended it with the Vestal, but I wanted yep. to get some healing in. But not only do I fail the damage range with Selnar. Uh, there we go. So, this is the big slime. This is what yep. happens if you let a slime stay alive too long. <laughs> It has 33%- oh no, this one has 20% damage reduction. And a wealth of health. Yep. But that's not the big reason why it's a pain. I don't know if it does it this turn or next, though. There we go, Slime Smack. It has a skill that could double stun your front line, aka your damage output. If Selnar didn't have Hard Noggin... Bang. Does Repulse still activate if you're stunned? Yes. Okay. Which doesn't make a whole lot of sense now that I think about it. Nah, I'll... I'll... I'll take it. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. It's a video yeah. game balance thing. Exactly. The big slime and fucking up your life. Uh. 
That's actually his weakest attack. Because <laughs> pro tip, this guy could also make slimes. Remember yep. how I said 15 turn battle? I wasn't fucking joking. Uh, you really need to upgrade point blank shot. Yeah. Didn't have the money though for it, and I'm reeling because of it. Oh, whose fault is that? Uh, no one knows. It's the game's fault. Of course, yes. Nah, I, I really did fuck that up. That was the worst choice I could have possibly done. <laughs> Now here's a fun curio fact. Leftover luggage? It is always a poison trap, so if you have anti-venom, you can disable it. Are often low on supplies. Really? Mm-hmm. Pretty sure if you also use uh, skeleton key, it Yeah, it, uh, that's the default choice. The trap. By okay. the way, remember how I fed Selnar before? I'm paying for it. Yeah. I hate the hunger the mechanic. I wish it at least had an icon. Well, it shouldn't have an icon because that would make sense. Now here is a fight where I make a huge error. Like the biggest error you could think of. And Selnar is going to pay for it. I'm sorry, buddy. Watch my awesome logic at work here. This is an enemy where marking means they'll take damage, right? I'm going to use repost. <laughs> Oh. Big mistake. I'm starting to think you just hate Selmar at this point. No, this was honestly just a bad mistake. He didn't have it bad in the last dungeon, but here, this was like, what the fuck was I thinking? Yeah. Well, I could tell you what I was thinking. I was thinking Selnar could handle it. He has pretty meaty health, and I could use the uh, off actions, but then he gets hit by a crit. Mm-hmm. And this is why P is MVP this round, because he's giving us the speed to say fuck your evasion. <laughs> or is it speed? Not, the, not fuck your evasion, Another to say uh, fuck your initiative. We're going land. first. Except not really. That is two death door hits. Uh, I'm surprised he's not blighted. I know, right? Three death door hits. <laughs> oh, that scared the hell out of me. This expedition at least promises success. Mm. The dark place is feeling dark times. <laughs> Driving out corruption Goodness. Endless battle. I did, but however, get a stun before. charm, which is universally good for my playstyle. That charm will let me have 20% extra stun rate. No strings attached. Hey, put that on the Houndmaster, you'd have an awesome fucking stun. And everybody only gets debuffs. Yeah. I mean, you don't use him for melee attacks anyway. Yeah. The plume. So, and the, the sanitarium's unlocked. Guess where all of my statues are going. And a curse upon us all. Really? To the sanitarium? Mm-hmm. I, uh... I don't really upgrade the stress stuff unless absolutely necessary. So my statues go to two places. The sanitarium or the stagecoach. Hmm. To those with a keen eye, gold gleams Maybe like this is, a this stagecoach point. deeds. Stagecoach, stagecoach, uh, stagecoach is mostly deeds. Okay. Also, our first grave robber is going to be a guy on YouTube, Gluck Gluck. Didn't give me a name, so I'm just going to keep him as such. Okay. And as I was saying before, the stagecoach is mostly deeds, but it also... If you put uh, statues and portraits into it, you could actually upgrade the quality of your soldiers to where you could get level 2 and 3 recruits. Oh, right, right, right. But this requires a high-level um, high blacksmith and guild. Mm-hmm. Now, for their efforts, P gets to go to the, uh, to the brothel, and, uh, Sajungle gets whipped. It's like, yeah, good job healing everybody. <laughs> now get lanced. <laughs> yeah, that seems fair. I don't know what's wrong with these people. How does getting whipped relieve you of stress? Now, here I'm trying to demonstrate, uh, the sanitarium, but I don't... 
I didn't, well, I didn't really look at my soldiers, so I don't know which one I have. And then I realized, wait a minute. I don't have a tank for next mission. Well, I mean, you could just remove Kleptomania from Renault. I was going to, but I kind of need him to uh, take beatings next mission. I mean, you don't really need a tank in this game. You really don't, but I like having someone that could take a hit, because it basically means more hits away from my squishier targets. Mm -hmm. Even if you can't guarantee that the tank will get hit, it's still a nice way of, hey, it's not a hit on my squishy dudes, and he's still not fucked up. So I'm sitting here determining, who do I want to put in there? Now, as someone mentioned in a thread before, you can both remove a debuff and steal a positive trait, but I'm pretty broke. So we're just going to make a Voltic Surge a little bit faster. Next time, we're going to show off either the Warrens or the Cove. Come on, Cove. <laughs> I should probably put that up to a thread vote. Hmm. You you totally should. I'll do that.